Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Michael Jordan Chaos in the Windy City for the Super Nintendo. I remember renting this game a few times when I was a kid. Let me tell you, it's a very interesting platformer. Yes, I said platformer. Yeah, based on one of the famous basketball players of all time, Michael Jordan. If you're a Chicago Bulls fan, you practically remember this guy as a legend. Well, one of the legends, anyway. It is a platformer, but a very weird one, let's put it that way. It's quite strange, but fun all the same. It's very unique. Okay, so Y is your shot and your slam, B is jump, X is your slam jump, and A is to operate. You'll also be using select L and R as well. I don't know if you'd be using L, but you're definitely going to be using select and R. You're gonna find out why in a moment. Okay, so why don't we get this game started, shall we? It's a windy day in Chicago. First practice for an all-star charity game. Michael shows up and finds his team has disappeared. Their stuff is here, but they're not. This is weird. Suddenly, through a skylight, crash. A ball with a note scrawled on it. Mr. Jordan, if you want to save your pals, or basically people you have to play with even though you don't care for them. Come to the Egyptian room in the museum. Let me go back because it just keeps scrolling ahead of me. The Egyptian room in the field museum at midnight. Come alone, Dr. Max Cranium. Man, this is serious. Better check it out. That night, a guard lets Michael into the closed museum. Why? Because, well, if you saw a famous basketball player like that, would you deny him entry? Of course you wouldn't. In the Egyptian room, Greg. Well, I'm here. Now what? Hey, a door in the wall. He enters warily. What the? Finding himself at the entrance to an underground prison, Michael sets out to find his friends. Okay, let's look at this portrait right here. Like the one on top. Doesn't he look like a blind African American Mr. Clean? Like, like seriously. I know it looks very weird, but hey, it's better than Shaq Fu. I mean, they could have made that into a platformer and it maybe not as sucked instead of a fighter. Okay, let's go to the cells, and it seems there are five levels. Let's go to the information. Dr. Max Cranium turned a maze of catacombs beneath the museum into a block of prison cells. Prison cells. Heavy locks keep the captives in. Zombies, giant spiders, and other creatures keep trespassers out. Complete this level to find the red card key. Okay, so you have to go through, like, each world at the end to get a card key. I assume if you get them all, you can go to the final area. At least they give you a map to look at. Unfortunately, they don't put the map, like, actually in the level. You have to look at the map prior to going into the level before you can actually use it. And look, there are bats. I have to kill them. Okay, and the zombies have basketball heads. This is very weird. Okay, so I grab a key. Press A. Okay, so I get another ability. This one's called the Fireball. You can use, like, R to swap back, but apparently you can't use L, so you can only cycle forward. Like, each ball, like, other than the default one which you start with, has its own abilities. And you can only have so many at a time. What I just grabbed there was a snack that gives me health. But if you look closely, it's actually a box of Wheaties. Yes, there are two items that are sponsors of this game. And apparently that's a glitch. Okay, let's continue. Oh! Looks like I found a cell. Thanks for saving me, Michael. The other guys are locked up too. Where are they? A little dude with a big head locked them up all over the city. Did he say where? No. He just kept laughing. He dropped his key. Take it. What is this place? The little maniac holds prisoners here for his dastardly experiments. Got any advice for me? Be careful when you open doors. The residents aren't always friendly. You better go now. Damn it! Fuck the phone. Time out. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue before I get interrupted again. Find your way back to the gym. I'll rescue the other players. 
Okay, so I get a green key, which is pretty nice, and you can only use this once. Not that you have anything to worry about, because usually you only see one lock to begin with, that's green. And I just picked up Gatorade. For some reason, this game calls it Isotonic Drink. It kinda is, and if you're wondering about the graphical glitches, don't worry about it, because really, it's only SNES GT that I'm using, and that emulator kinda glitches with this game, though it works well with others. ZSNES works fine, but I'm not worried about that because I'm using ZSNES for other things. Anyways, if you want to, like, get into those baskets over there, you have to use your slam jump, which is X. Okay, that's what I needed the green key for. Okay, and that's a heat seeker ball, so I'm going to save that for later. Okay, I really hate the spiders, and sometimes the jumping in this game is awkward. Okay, now baby spiders. Okay, let me use... Yeah, that's how you use the fireball. And that Quake Ball is very powerful. I advise you to save it for bosses. Like, don't go wasting it, okay? Oh, more Wheaties. Cool. Okay, if I get 100 of these coins, I get an extra life. Okay, that little white thing is called a baseball, but it functions like a boomerang. There, just grab that. Sweet. Actually, what it does is give you full health. I don't know why I needed to grab it, because I was already at full health, but I might as well just demonstrate how that thing works. Yeah, so you have to be very careful when you open these doors. I advise you, as soon as you open them, just step away. That way, if there's an enemy, you can kill it. And if there's good items, then, well, of course you can still get it too. Okay, I have to throw a basketball at that switch. That's a very interesting mechanism. Oh, that's a red key. Okay, the triangle baskets over there, or the triangle backboards, they just deliver damage. Okay, what I picked up is some kind of, like, super shoes. And that there was a checkpoint. Oh. That was good while it lasted. Okay, that's what the break key was for. And that's a rubber ball. Okay, whenever you shoot at a wall or at the ground, it just rebounds. It gets pretty neat for those tight corners and stuff. Ow. That was my first hit there. Of course, it would be against bats. Let me see what's down here. There's another eye. Let me kill you. Let me drop down and the safe. Okay, I have to be careful. And there's a whole lot of these eyes. There we go. Let's see what this is. Ah, bonus. Okay, that's full health. That's good more health. Ooh, an extra life. Whenever you see the number 23, that's an extra life. Make sure you get it. Okay, and I ran out of time, but I did get every item, which was good. Especially that extra life. <laughs> right in the face. Let's see what this is. Okay, more fire. Okay, like Apparently the Quake Balls, which are super powerful, that I re recommend to use only against bosses, these are the only balls that stack. Apparently fire gives you a maximum of five only. And apparently that was like a Quake backboard. There, I finished a level. Nothing to it. Okay, so you see Wheaties, Gatorade, of course. And it tells you how many captives you saved in the game. There's usually one in each level, so right now I got only one of 21. And it's pretty cool that Michael Jordan actually does voiceovers for this game. Sure, there are 16-bit voiceovers, but hey, they're still voiceovers. Okay, let's do the second level of the cells. A 
Luckily, these graphical glitches are very, very minor. Like, they're not going to stop me from getting far in the game. Hey. Ah, how do you like me now? Whoops, I did not mean to do that, but oh well. Okay, so I got a green key, but I'm still missing a s the silver keys. Ah, oh, there they are. Of course, keys will be inside a basketball net. Why not? I mean, this game makes enough sense already. Okay, to grab onto a pulley, make sure you hold up when you jump. Otherwise, well, you'll just jump. Like, you pretty much have to do it before you jump. Like, you can't just tap up right in the midair and expect to hang on. Okay, is that back gonna come back? Yes, it is, but not anymore. Okay, I assume there's a hidden passage over here, of course. Ah, there's another hostage and... White player? Excellent! I thought you were that lunatic Dr. Max Maximus Cranium dude! Who is this Max Cranium? He's a mad scientist with a bad attitude. Said he sh should have made the basketball team as a junior. Did he say anything else? No! He just kept laughing and talking about his master plan. He really cracks himself up! Got any advice for me? Yeah! Watch out for the flying eyeballs with the gold shells. They have a wicked wink. Anything else? If you come across a gold spider, smart money says keep your distance. Get back to practice. I'll meet you there when I free the others. Wow, there's a whole lot of backups there on that team. There's like 21 hostages. Jeez. Wonder how many of them never see any basketball time. Anyways, let's continue. Hey, with the strike going on, this is the most basketball you're ever going to see. Okay, I assume that was just more health. Okay, these springs can be very awkward for jumping. Because you can't keep it straight. You practically have to hop on it multiple times to get enough lift. There, more super shoes that make me invincible for a little while. Okay, that's what the gold spiders do. Apparently, they keep shooting poison at you. And, of course, they also split into small spiders whenever you kill them. Okay, that went pretty well. Okay, I'm still missing the gold keys. Of course, they're over here. Okay, that's an ice ball. That should help me out later. Because you can actually freeze enemies and use them as a platform. Believe it or not, you actually have to do this in a later level. Not to progress through the game, but probably to free a hostage. Okay, there's another quake ball over there. What is that green acid stuff, anyway? Powerade? Just imagine if Gatorade actually put that in there. Like, Powerade is evil, it kills you! Hmm... Can I actually grab that? Uh, it's pretty difficult, though. So I'm just gonna leave it be. Besides, I can actually go back to the levels. Like, when you finish a level, it's not like you're done with it for good. You can come back anytime you want. This looks weighted. Whoa! There. Aha! Uh, there's a whole lot of eyes there. Let me kill him. Oh, looks like I can actually control where this is going. Uh, I'll go over here. Ah, another bonus. Okay, something tells me I'm gonna have to use this. You have to kill the friggin' eyes to get this. Like, to get whatever power-up they have. 
and it looks like I didn't get anything worthwhile. So no one up this time. Sad face. Eh, right, I already had the right key. Oh, good. Not that I needed it, but I'll take it. Whoa, whoa! Oh, that was close. I never really liked the jumping in this game for obvious reasons. Like, usually when you just walk off a cliff or something, it gets pretty awkward. And I think that eye was gonna shoot a laser at me. Ah, uh, I couldn't defend myself. See? See, you just go forward on your own whenever you do that. Good, that's better. I like my Wheaties, bitch. Wait a minute. I'm missing a red key. Let's come back and see where it's to. Something tells me I need to get up on this again. I bet you this is where the key is. Yep, it is, of course. Just in case I screw up. So I can't exactly look down. Okay. That would have gave me a safe jump anyway. Never really liked that bat, though. Okay, so this is how you get to the. Damn it! Damn it, Michael Jordan, I shouldn't wait! Ugh, now I need a yellow key. Okay, at least I now know it should be around here. Damn it. Let me get all this crap. I assume the key's over here. No, it isn't. Oh, it's over here. Eh, whatever. Shoot at everything I see because I'm Michael Jordan, damn it. There, finish the level. I don't care about points. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here. Next part, I'm gonna do the third level of the cells. Okay, this one seems a little bit long. See everyone.